This is a fan-generated show. If you would like to support us, please go to jamieglazov.com and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All your support is greatly appreciated. Good evening. Welcome to the Jamie Glazoff Moment. Tonight, Pastor Brunson's prayer over President Trump. Ladies and gentlemen, recently Pastor Andrew Brunson was freed from Turkey thanks to our President Donald Trump. And at the White House, Pastor Brunson met with our President and he also prayed over our President. What a, a touching, what a moving scene, right to the heart. And I'd like to play a clip. We would like to pray for you. We pray for you often. Thank you. Uh, as a family, my wife and I pray for you. Thank you. Well, I need it probably more than anybody in this room. <laughs> so I would, that would be very nice. Thank you. Could we pray for you? Yes, thank you very much. Okay. You know anyone? Okay. Okay. So you can. Okay. I'll do it. Yeah. How about that? Thank you. Lord God, I ask that you pour out your Holy Spirit on President Trump, that you give him supernatural wisdom to accomplish all the plans you have for this country and for him. I ask that you give him wisdom in how to lead this country into righteousness. I ask that you give him perseverance and endurance and courage to stand for truth. I ask that you protect them from slander, from enemies, from those who would undermine. I ask that you make him a great blessing to this country. Fill him with your wisdom and strength and perseverance, and we bless him. May he be a great blessing to our country. In Jesus' name, we bless you. Amen. 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 I just want to pray that the spirit of the Lord would rest on the president, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. Amen. Wow, really moving and, uh, and touching stuff. Uh, just actually puts you to the brink of, of joyful tears when you watch that. And we also realize how much is at stake. Just wanted to say two quick things as I watched Pastor Brunson's prayer over our president. You know, I couldn't help from wondering what Christian pastors or Christians did President Obama, our Christian president, you know, he was supposedly Christian. What, what Christian pastors or Christians did he ever win their release or protect them or speak out on their behalf? Been doing a lot of research all those eight years and even now that Obama, our Christian president, um, and by the way, I'm not, I'm not necessarily putting Obama down that he's not maybe Christian. I'm just a little curious because he said he was Christian or they said he was Christian. It was all a little bit blurry. I've done videos on this. But I'm just curious that since there was this thing about Pastor uh, Jeremiah Wright and then all that strange stuff at that church and that Obama supposedly Christian, when did he speak up for and have Christian pastors that were in prison throughout the world released? When did he speak up for Christians? I just can't remember. When did, actually I'm trying to remember, when did a Christian pastor ever pray over him in the White House in that kind of setting? I don't remember anything like that. Do you? Hmm, I wonder why. I wonder if that has anything to do with that speech Obama gave in Cairo when he first came into office. Yeah, that speech in Cairo where he demanded that the Muslim Brotherhood occupy the front two rows. Hmm. I wonder if that has anything to do with the Muslim Brotherhood penetrating the White House and the U.S. government during the entire Obama administration lifespan of that administration and Obama overseeing all of that. Hmm, I don't know. I wonder if that has anything to do with how Dr. Daniel Pipes has documented Obama's youthful excuse me, his Muslim youth. Obama was Muslim in his youth, in his childhood. This has been documented by Daniel Pipes. Just look it up, Daniel Pipes, Obama's Muslim youth. I wonder if that has anything to do with that and uh, that we never figured out when the conversion moment was. Was there a conversion moment? When was it exactly? I don't know. Am I allowed to ask these things? Oh, sorry, am I being racist? 
Oh yeah, what is uh, what race is Islam again? I keep forgetting. I also couldn't help from noticing this wonderful scene, and of course we know that Fox News, that's a brave network and has wonderful people on it. You know, Hannity, Judge Janine, Tucker Carlson, Laura Ingram. You know, real noble truth tellers. Now. You know, they, they, they showed it, said some wonderful things about all of that. But, you know, I, 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 you know, I study the left, absolutely. But, you know, it's funny. It's CNN, MSNBC, and all these um, communist networks. It's interesting how they responded to this. There was a lot of silence and also a lot of anger. But, you know, I heard a couple interesting things just on the street. I, I'm not sure. I just heard a couple rumors. I heard that there wasn't too much about this. You know, there was a lot of anger there. I heard that it's CNN. Now, I don't have proof for this. It's just a word on the street. But one of the CNN anchors, I'm not going to say his name because this is just rumors. Maybe there should be an FBI investigation about this. But apparently one of the CNN hosts was condemning this prayer that Brunson did over Trump. And he got so angry, there was so much foam coming out of his mouth while he was trying to report on it and to say the name Jesus while he was trying to report and say the name Jesus he was having difficulty and so much foam was coming out of his mouth and then allegedly other CNN staff starts hearing him speaking in all these different ancient languages like four or five ancient languages that this anchor doesn't even know there was foam coming out of his mouth and then his eyes had rolled to the top of his head and uh, Others say that this CNN anchor's head turned 360 degrees while he was trying to report on it with so much anger, and then they couldn't proceed and couldn't show it. Look, I don't know. I don't know if it's really happened. It's just stuff that I've overheard people talking about. Uh, maybe they should, uh, they should do... Uh, an investigation into this, maybe an FBI investigation, I don't know. Then I also heard that at MSNBC there were similar things going on. They were trying to, uh, you know, broadcast this and report on it, but the MSNBC anchors, there was actually several of them, just the teeth were chattering so much. And uh, again, foam coming out of the mouth and, and other reports of very strange things with this one anchor while he was trying to do it. In this other voice, they just heard, we are legion, we are legion in this other voice. And then this really strange contortion started on this particular anchor's face and uh, they had to stop the, the episode and the reporting. I, I'm not sure if this happened. Uh, it's just hearsay. But it's, it's, I've overheard people talking about this uh, at this local restaurant I was in lately and just on the street, I, I, I don't know. But it's what I heard and it's why the media was kind of silent about this. Ladies and gentlemen, anyway, what a beautiful moment. What a sacred moment, actually, and very, very telling. Thank you, Pastor Brunson, for praying over our president. Thank you, President Trump, for everything that you're doing and just the fact that a Christian pastor prays over you to Jesus Christ. Thank you for the fact that you were obviously so instrumental in his release. And uh, we're just really blessed. And I can say that all of us here at the Glazov Gang, and I can speak for many of our viewers, share this sentiment share that prayer that Pastor Brunson said over you. And I would just like to end also just with our own special prayer. And I know many of our viewers are behind us that, Dear Lord, yes, continue to protect our president and give him wisdom. And most importantly, please help him win in November with the midterms. Please, dear Lord, save the House and the Senate Keep it Republican. This is the turning point of our civilization, the turning point in our country. And we pray to you, O Lord, through Jesus Christ our Lord, that good will prevail in November. Please, fans of the Klazov Gang, continue to pray. And while I may be saying a prayer to Jesus Christ, of course, we have many non-Christian 
and uh, members of other faiths watching our program and you are part of our team and continue to pray please for our president we'll see you on the next jamie glasoff moment good night